Hello, everybody. Happy Monday, February 8th. Winston and I are here with you, coming live with our messages of the week. So, three oils today. First one is vetiver again. Again. So, vetiver, I know, keeps coming up, keeps coming up. So, over the heart, I of course put it yeah, on my wrists and then over the heart and then put some on your fingers and you put them uh, in your ears. So massage your ears with the vetiver. Really, really powerful. I get chills in my whole body every time I do it this way. Vetiver uncovers the root of emotional issues and it also provides relief without avoidance of um, dealing with whatever it is that you're dealing with. Um, so it gives us relief, but it helps us to be in it and be okay with it and work through it instead of being in a place of avoiding. Um, whatever emotional issues, uh, we all have them. Um, it brings in light and recovery to the deepest parts of ourselves. So I love that. I love it. I love it. Um, okay. So let's see. What's next? Hinoki. Hinoki is um, Japanese cypress. And it is also in the Amavi blend, if you have that, it's like a Father's Day blend. Um, and Hinoki goes on our crown chakra. Take off my, my hat, reveal my hat head, but all for good. So on the crown chakra, wrists, and also the throat chakra. So this brings in natural harmony. It's all about harmony with Hinoki. It's soothing when we're feeling hurried, um, when we're feeling rigid, tense, or constricted. Um, and it helps to bring back in the natural flow of life and um, natural order and universal flow, like universe. Um, there's kind of, you know, there's a cadence, right? Like a natural cadence in our lives. And um, this helps to bring that back into us. The, you know, be in a good rhythm in our life, which feels su super good um, and helps us to, um, uh, helps us to ground into um, our life more and be able to, um, you know, deal with what's going on around us. All right, third and final oil is lemon. Um, this goes over our heart. Uh, and this restores energy and mental flexibility. Um, it helps to clear self-judgment and restore self-confidence. We're also going to put a little bit on our third chakra, which is right above our belly button. And that's a great place where our willpower, solar plexus is, where our willpower is. Um, ooh, hi, Re and hi, Amelia. Yes, Hinoki on the crown. <laughs> so the lemon uh, on your belly helps to restore some self-confidence and uh, clears away that self-judgment. Feels really good um, there as well as over your heart and it energizes us. So those are our three oils for the week. Vetiver, Hinoki, and lemon. Um, really beautiful combination of oils. Smells really good together. Remember to do the vetiver on your ears. Um, you know, it is a great spot. Uh, reflexology, you know, all these points on our ears correspond to our whole body and it energizes our body. Okay. And our card for the week uh, comes from our inquiry deck. Love this deck. And our card for the week is what is true for me. And this is the, this is the time of truth. 
this is the time of us figuring out what our truth is and um, and then living in that truth and being in a place where we can allow others to be in their truth. And um, so it's, it's an interesting time. Um, we get into it in way more depth tonight during uh, the daily practice, um, which you can go to um, right here on my Facebook page. You can look at the, um, um, the posting I just did uh, the other day has a link to that daily practice. It's at 8.15 tonight you can sign up um, with that link. And um, and we do 30 minutes and there's actually totally different oils, totally different cards, but it is around the same theme. So anyway, I hope you all have a beautiful week, um, a beautiful rest of your day. Use your oils and, and maybe write a post-it note saying what is true for me um, and use that all week and see how that um, helps you to flow. Okay. Love you guys. Namaste.